Have you ever wondered how the hardness of gems is measured? It's not as straightforward as you might think. Enter the world of the MOIS scale, a fascinating tool that helps us to rank these precious stones. Curious about the top five facts of this scale? Let's explore the fascinating world of gem hardness, shall we? Fact one, the MOHS scale was developed by Friedrich Moos in 1812. Moos, a German geologist and mineralogist, recognized a need for a systematic way to compare the hardness of minerals. His solution, a scale from one to 10 based on scratch resistance. So the MOHS scale has been with us for over two centuries. Fact two, the MOHS scale ranges from one to 10. It's a spectrum where one signifies the softest like talc and 10 represents the hardest like a diamond. From talc to diamond, the MOH scale covers them all. Fact three, the MOH scale is a relative scale. It doesn't represent equal steps, but rather each mineral's ability to scratch those ranked lower and be scratched by those above. In the world of gem hardness, it's all about who can scratch who. Fact four, the MOHS scale has its limitations. It's not quite perfect, particularly when it comes to distinguishing between the hardness of very hard minerals. So for instance, a diamond, the hardest known mineral, is four times harder than corundum, yet they're only one unit apart. Despite its limitations, the MOHS scale remains a valuable tool in gemology. Fact five, the MOHS scale is used in everyday life. It's not just for gem enthusiasts. Manufacturers utilize it to ensure the durability of their products. Construction workers rely on it to select the right materials for their projects. The MOH scale, a testament to the enduring fascination with the hardness of gems.